All right, next up on the 2022 KLX 300R, um, we're gonna do a lowering link today from Kuba Link. I think that's how you say that. They're USA made, uh, I believe in Idaho. They send them pretty nicely packaged. Um, they shipped fast. This is a one and a half inch lowering link. I didn't want to go much more than that. They have they have kits that go, uh, you know, go for even more lowering. But uh, I didn't want to drop the seat height much more than the 2024s. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter and a 17 millimeter, and they recommend to torque these bolts back to 61 foot pounds in the factory service manual. So I'm gonna get the camera set up, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. Which one are you starting at? It doesn't matter. Start on the front. So I'll get both these uh, cracked loose to start with. Now there is going to be tension on this with the spring on the rear shock, so uh, I might have to be might have to move the rear wheel around to kind of take tension off these bolts. They might have to be tapped out. Um, these links should pop right off. So that's the stock link. And then uh, let's see if we can push these bolts out by taking a little tension off. Uh, will those pull out? Uh, so I kind of push that sleeve. There are sleeves in here on needle bearings, so watch out for those. The link's going to have to change. They come to that side. Here, lift up on that back tire. All right. There's that. Just really watch these uh, sleeves on these needle bearings. This side's kind of tight to the uh, the chain and everything. There's that side out. I'm gonna grab some shop rags and we'll wipe those up. Okay, there are seals in here, uh, so you got to be careful not to displace those because there are needle bearings inside of these bushings. So make sure you haven't displaced the, uh, the seals here. Everything looks good on these. Gonna get these clean up because they set in the dirt here. So these new links, um, they're nice anodized aluminum. Um, and the way that they drop the bike is just changing the geometry of that rear shock. So the, the stock link is shorter than what we're adding on. Um, so that's how it, that's how it drops the bike is it's changing the geometry of that shock. These aren't side specific, but, uh, they do have writing on them. So you might want to put that right side up or it's going to look goofy. Um, just going to grease up these, uh, these bushings in here, but if you want to grab the camera and just, you can get on that side and we'll just show greasing these up. Um, you can show the, go ahead and show them the bushings on that side while I grease this side. These are those, those bushings and the needle bearings are inside of those. There's 
there's bushings and seals on each side of this. I'm just going to go ahead and pack a little bit of grease inside these. You can check out the other side that I just did. It's going to be a little messy when everything squeezes together, but it's better to make sure that everything is clean and re-greased. Because obviously if you don't, this could be a major wear point because it's constantly in motion. Those are all greased up. Now we'll see if we can get this thing back together. So we'll just try to do it the exact reverse of, of uh, the way that it came apart. Uh, and the easiest way is just to lift up on that rear wheel to get everything back together. We might have to really lift up on it this time because of the longer link. Okay, take it down a little bit, bud. Back up a little bit. A little more. Oh, oh I knocked out that sleeve, see? Don't let off it. Uh, let me pop that bolt out. All right, go ahead and let down on it. Since I knocked that out, we're doing this live so you get to see all of our bonehead mistakes here. We'll get this cleaned up. So obviously be cautious of that, that you're not knocking these sleeves out um, <clears throat> or displacing those seals. Just make sure the needle bearings are, are still in place in there. They're little cage needle bearings, so they should be fine. I'm going to re-grease this and add a little bit to those needle bearings. Just because I knocked this one out, I'm going to put a little bit inside these needle bearings before I slide this back in. Just make sure when you push it back in that it has to go through the seal lips on the other side. Um, so you want to make sure it's greased up for that and you aren't, you know, cutting or disturbing the seal on the other side. You'll feel it go in and it'll line up on each side nicely. I'll throw a little grease back in these. And we'll try not to do that again. All right, go ahead and lift up on it. This time I will try to hold that sleeve from the back side. Yeah, it might have been the grease pressure that pushed that out a little bit. So there's that. That's all in. You can get those nuts started. I'm going to wipe up my hands. Excess of grease, but that's okay. Obviously, it is easier to have a, a buddy on the other side to hold everything when you're unbolting and rebolting all this. I'm just going to snug these up with the regular ratchet and then we'll uh, torque them up with a torque wrench. Let's get the front a little bit too before I go too far on that one. Okay, 
of snug up the back now. Oh, one thing I didn't mention that's kind of obvious is you're going to want this thing on a stand. Get the weight off the suspension. Just like you saw, we had to lift up on that rear tire. You're not going to want weight on that while you do that. All right, I set this to 61 foot-pounds earlier, so we'll start on the bottom, bud. Take this up. All right, that should be it. Um, show you real quick what it looks like installed. Not really a whole lot to see that's different than stock, but you can see that link is longer than stock and everything's back as it should be. I'll wipe up that grease and then uh, we'll set them side by side and see if we can a noticeable difference right off the bat all right once we set the bike down after putting that lowering link on there was an immediate difference i mean you could see visibly you're, you're not going to be able to see it on camera this is the one that's been lowered um, one thing to think about is when you lower a bike the kickstand is going to be a little longer than it should be so that's something to think about so when you put on its kickstand this kickstand will still work the bike is sitting up a little straighter than i'd like it but i, I just Make sure to pull it up tightly on the kickstand and it, it seems to stay pretty good. There, there are a couple companies that sell, well, at least one company that sells an adjustable kickstand, but it's ridiculously expensive. Um, that was another reason I didn't want to go much more than an inch and a half. I'm going to hand off the camera and we'll try a couple quick measurements on the seat. Nothing real scientific, but just to show you that we did actually get the advertised drop. I'll try to measure the same point on each seat. I don't know if you'll be able to see the uh, tape measure here. I'll just pick it up and uh, I'll try to measure where that, where that green plastic changes to the white. And I'm looking at uh, across the top of the seat, maybe 35 and 7 eighths on that one. Then I'll do the same thing. I won't put any weight on the seat. Right where that plastic meets. Got to kind of eyeball it. I'm uh, like 37, maybe just over 37, 37 and 8. Yeah, I mean, we got, we measured them at a couple different points. Like I say, nothing real scientific. We're getting, we're getting easily an inch and a quarter of drop. You know, inch and a half. We will at some point probably raise the forks up in the triple clamps. There's not much room you can get out of these. Um, you can only really go to that shoulder. But these will, you know, if the front's riding higher than the rear, it will affect the stability of the bike, especially at higher speeds. And that's why another reason I don't want to go much more than an inch and a half, because you can only really drop these maybe three quarters of an inch. So we are going to do that and we'll post another video when we get that done.